Hello, all my beautiful heroes. Architecture. Oh, that's dope. I feel like maybe I knew that. I do tend to... No, I don't, I don't tend to talk about it. That's very interesting, you should talk about it more. That's super cool. And it sounds also very difficult, so kudos. Hi, hello, welcome. Welcome to Seishi and Paladin and my lurkers and anybody else. We learned that in Julie's stream. She's uh, taught us about trusses and studs. Oh, like studly men or <laughs> actual building studs. Oh, it's very cool. I, in Julie's Discord today, you said you were in class, and I was like, you know, I th I've heard, like, you talk about homework before or something, I was like, what is she actually in school for? I don't think I know. Them hot, hot studs. Oh, yes. Por que no los dos? Why, why not both? Why not both what? what uh, I know that you're jonesing for the dick prints. No, that sounds terrible. Uh, the dick butt prints. There we go. That's a little bit better. Um, oh dear, that's very loud. At least, oh, both kinds of studs. I see, I see. Hello, welcome. Just in time to hear about men. Yes, I mean, we're always thirsty in here, right? Secretly, I'm not schooled for anything. I just show up to the random classes and stay in whatever ones the teacher doesn't notice me in. I mean, dude, in college classes, in my, my experience sitting in my college classes, you could very easily, if like you're young enough, very easily just slip into whatever class you could, sit there, take notes, learn a thing, and then dip out. Like you wouldn't get the diploma at the end, but you could learn some stuff. You'd also probably have to, you know, buy the textbooks, which are an arm and a leg, but. Dig print is just called a mushroom stamp. Oh my God. <laughs> Those really big ones, cause they're all the one year, yeah, all the one years need like the same gen ed, right? You could totally just sit in on those. They're like, my gen ed classes I think were like 100 to 200 people, like in an auditorium almost. So yeah, you could totally slip in and get a get a cheeky education, pro tip. Um, I guess even if you were a non-traditional student, meaning like older than, you know, your 20s, um, right out of high school, you could probably still slip in. People probably wouldn't fucking ask any questions. Just like have a backpack, some books, a laptop. Nobody would ask anything. Once I come to a bigger school, all of my major classes were 20 to 30 students. My like specialty classes, like specifically for my major, especially closer to senior year, were like four people. So it definitely does dwindle down. But like at the beginning, there was just tons of people everywhere. Yeah, slip, slip, slip right in. None of the classes at my school are that big, I don't think, but I know ones that are, that are. Yeah, so I'm saying like, go hit up like a big college and just act like you know where you're going. If you're older and you wanna blend in, bring a rolly bag and tell stupid unrelated stories all the time. Perfect, pro tip right there. You just be like, hey, my fellow kids and be really awkward about it. You'll, it, nobody will ask anything. Nobody will kick you out, it's fine. Um, let's see. Uh, last time on VLR, we did like so, some of this right here. Uh, we did a little bit of this. We got stopped right there. Now we're gonna see if we can do a little bit of this. Uh, I highly doubt we'll make it very far, but it let's looks find just out. Like the other one. Is this really loud for you guys? Why is it so loud for me right now? <laughs> my hey, hello, my fellow kids. You ready to do the college? No one will suspect a thing. Finger guns. <laughs> You got you got to do the finger guns. It's mandatory, mandatory to blend in. Um. Hey, could you show me that map? Okay, they ended up in warehouse two. Yeah, I thought so. This one is right under the floor A warehouse. <laughs> oh. It sounds fine. Okay, good. I it must have just been on my end, and I fixed it. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Oh, oopsie. I'm so prepared for the stream. Um, I'm considering maybe playing a different game for tomorrow. Um, I know Jilly just played Gris, but I would also really like to play Gris. Uh, and I think we might need a little bit of a break from VLR. Just a little one. Just like a little Saturday stream. Do something else. Um, are there any other games you guys would like to see? I don't really have anything. I don't really have anything other than Gris. Um, uh, I mean, that's a lie. I have a shit ton of games. If 
problem is I don't really want to start like another long one. So we'd have to do something that can be done in a one-off stream, which Julie managed to do today. So only 999 and VLR in the third one for forever until it's done. Are those? <laughs> um, the third one is called Zero Escape. No time dilemma? Zero time dilemma? I think it's zero time dilemma. Y yeah, Google search proves me to be correct. It's called zero time dilemma. Um, those doors are white. Three of them. <laughs> okay, let's go take a like, closer look. Hey, Jave man, welcome. I yes, okay, it. sweet. Zero time dilemma. These are Another one confirms. Doors. See, they've got a... <laughs> Oopsie. Uh, so these are the third round of chromatic doors. How are you, Jave? How's it going? <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Uh, I guess we'll be coming back here pretty yeah. soon. Well, we might not have to. If everybody dies. What we do you mean? We both have six BP right now. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We're a pair, so? right? And yeah. who's our opponent? Exactly. But he's in the pod right now, so. Oh yeah, Quark's just gonna like default, yeah, huh? No vote. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you aren't saying we should pick Betray, are you? Weren't you planning to? I thought that was why you were okay with option C when we were making the groups. I had a fun time in Squid cha Squid's chat yesterday, where I was preaching the sun god's holy word, praise be. Um, uh, what was Squid playing yesterday? Was he playing more... They are billions? Took me a really long time to remember the name of the game. I was picturing all the zombies everywhere. I wasn't actually thinking of words. Just in case you guys wanted to know where the hamster fell off the wheel there. Um, what What is the sun god's holy word? Also, praise the sun. Am I right? <laughs> Have you gotten any endings? Um, yes, Jave. We've just gotten the Dio ending. Um, we got... I don't know how to get back out of this. So zoomed in. We got, like... Just fuck it. We got the Dio ending. We got cock blocked over here. We got cock blocked there, and we have yet to return since it's unlocked. Uh, we got blocked there. We got dead there and dead there. So. It was Darkest Dungeon. Okay, I was gonna say that sounds more like a Sun God type of thing, Darkest Dungeon. Um, but I knew that he was playing Tab recently, so I wasn't sure. I need to play some more Darkest Dungeon. I would play it for you guys, but. I modded the shit out of that game because I'm a pussy. And we're on casual mode here. So um, I 100% modded the crap out of it uh, so that I could go places. And that's probably not as entertaining to you guys, especially when there's like pro uh, Darkest Dungeon players out there. Uh, I just thought that with Quark's condition, I would be able to choose ally and not worry about getting betrayed. Oh, come on. You don't need to lie to me. We're partners. That means we share the same destiny. So let's not hide anything from each other, okay? <laughs> not hiding anything. Wait, you're serious? You were really going to pick ally? Sure. Whoa. Hold yeah. on a second there. I'm a good bean. We might not get another chance like this. Let's say we ally and get up to eight points. We don't know if we'll be able to get any points next round. For all we know, there might not even be a next round. There are three other people with six BP, right? That's Dio, true. K, and Phi. And we all know that Dio loves to get nine BP right off the bat, so. What do you think's going to happen if one of them gets nine points this round? Seiji, I apologize for the, uh, the lack of doors right now. He named an abomination after me. I was so happy. And you simply must accept the divine light into your life. Praise be. Oh, I definitely accept the sun god's life. No, hello. I accept the sun god's life so much that I moved states. <laughs> because I used to live in the drainy, dreary country, you know, the like Oregon country where I never saw the sun god and it darkened my life. And then I moved to where the sun god always shines. Wow, I make it sound like I live on the sun. I live on the sun. <laughs> Slightly dim dungeons. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, it's more like full noon. Full noon dungeons. The, the brightest dungeons of them all. Um, okay. That's not gonna happen. Why not? Fai and Luna are playing against Tenmyoji. He's only got one BP left though, so I really don't think they'd pick Betray. 
If Tenmyoji picked Ally, they'd kill him. <laughs> Same goes for Dio. He's playing against Kay and, uh, Alice and Kay and Alice's no! VP. Don't even think about that. I agree. But her BP is the same as Tenmyoji's, so unless Dio's willing to kill someone, he won't be able to get his BP denied. Oh, he's willing. He's hella willing. I live in Ohio. You are lucky to feel his light. Yes, I am. I am very lucky, then and Alice I bask in it. Betray. Uh, yeah, that is generally the best defense choice. But if Dio chooses ally, then, then K would have nine BP. Yeah. Jeez. I really just want K to like come out and be like the fucking most badass villain ever. I just I want him to become evil. Well, he's done it's nothing. Just like I said, then if K gets nine BP, then there won't be a third AB game. You moved away from the beautiful pines. They miss you, but understand your decision. That is true. Oregon has some of the prettiest fucking forests I have ever seen in my entire life. Gorgeous, gorgeous forests. <laughs> and the beach wasn't bad too, but it was always like you know too cold to swim so it was just like nice to look at from afar <laughs> um so it's over when someone gets nine people but yeah they did have really nice for us no. as long as that person doesn't open the number nine door the game goes on so you think that k will stay here even if he gets enough points to leave <laughs> i don't know but it's possible no it's not I don't know why we're fighting, fighting about this right now. <laughs> Spell, thank you for the host. Hello, Spell, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the host. Um, We can think about that while we're going to vote later. For now, we need to get back to the others. There's a couple of things I've got to do when we get back. Fine. Okay, back to floor A then. Let's move. Here's the door action. It's coming up. It's coming up. Slides down through the clouds on a sun ray. Praise the sun, motherfuckers! <laughs> what a glorious entrance. Do you speak for the sun god as well? Have you seen the hastily made Cleveland tourism video? Oh my goodness, what is that about? Uh, I turned and headed for the exit. After a few moments, I heard Clover's footsteps following behind me. Hey, Cookie, welcome! Hello, hello, how are you? The pines sound like they would be good friends. Yes, they do. They are. There it is. There was that door. Loud warning. Okay. Let me see if I can just... Okay, I muted it. I muted it, and I'll watch it later. Because I don't want to blast the stream with it. Nor do I want copyright issues. But I will watch the Cleveland tourism video after the stream. I, I can't wait. The glorious of entrances. Yes, yes. You, I hope in real life spell you were praising, praising the sun. I really do hope in my heart of hearts that that's what happened. Sponsored by the sun god. I think if anything, being sponsored by the sun god would be a divine blessing. <laughs> That'd be great. There's something in my eye. I got it. Clover. Oh, thank goodness you're back. Yep. Are we the last ones? Yes. We need, we need, where's, hey, what? do I have, hold on, do I have, I don't think I have, oh, I do. Here you go, guys. There. That's the acolyte praising in the sun. Tenmyoji's expression was furious and far from the way and and from the way he was stomping towards me I felt like I only had a few seconds before I was on the ground with his hands around my neck I explained what had happened to Quark uh, and the pods as quickly as I could He's getting better, bro. So are these pod things really safe? God, I fucking don't probably. know. Probably. Probably? Probably. <laughs> no, they're definitely safe. I'm I'm a doctor. He's fine. Well, are they safe or aren't they? Look, I'm just worried about him, all right? The video was beautiful if somebody has that copyrighted good for them. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Can you take me to this <laughs> treatment center, Clover? Uh. Don't worry, we've still got 20 minutes left. Plenty of time to go have a look and come back. Okay, come on then. As soon as she finished, she was off. 
Tenmuji followed at her heels, and in the blink of an eye, they were gone out the magenta door. All right, you guys got some splaining to I do. You opened the AB gates before Clover and I got back, didn't you? I want to know why the hell you'd go and do something like that. Sigma. We didn't address this before. As she spoke, Phi gestured towards the line of AB rooms. One was open. It's not like we opened them all up. So you're saying only one person or one pair jumped the gun yes. here? So who was it? I opened it. Of course you did. So it was you! Figured it's as not much. really a big deal, okay? I mean, you came right back. I did actually raise my hands, yes! And you put your favorite helmet on. God, that's next level. Kudos, dude. When you have to, you have to, you know? I mean, yeah. You know, if you gotta, if you gotta praise, you gotta praise. Um... <laughs> Why? Yes, Dio, it is a big deal. If you hadn't made it back by the deadline, you'd have just defaulted to Ally. <laughs> no, not just. Are you telling me you didn't know? Didn't you find one of these notes? Oh, we're going to discuss what? this again. Okay. We found it in the treatment was... center. I didn't see one in the pantry either. Nobody else found our suspicious notes. Hey, whatever, you should probably read it. AB game rules for you. Not voting is not a option. If both parties refuse to vote, then every bunny gets penalized. In other words, one person out of every color group of three has to vote. <laughs> what? Dio being a sack of dicks? No! Wait, 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 wait. I think, I think at times like this, we should really just consult our notes because I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, Dio, he could be a great person. Like on the inside, um, you know, I, I don't know. He could also just be a fucking trash can. Wait, I want red for this. Also, a Dio. Guys, meet also Dio. He smells like shit and piss and homeless people vomit and attracts flies. So. <laughs> LQTM, what does that mean? Secretly hopes someone clever already clipped uh, when Miro read my praise. Oh, did anybody clip it? Uh, if we hadn't gotten back in time, Clover, Quark, and I would have died. And right, you just... Right, I get it. Sorry. Laughing quietly to myself. Wow, I don't think I've ever actually run into that acronym before. I usually go for the over-the-top ones that aren't actually happening, like laugh my ass off or rolling on the floor laughing or laugh out loud. None of those actually... Well... My equivalent of laugh out loud is like, heh, and that's about all you get. <laughs> Shit and piss, yes. Make it a frag, a fragrance, you wear it. Oh Jesus, please Cut do not. some slack though, man, I didn't know. So you wouldn't have opened the gate if you of did? Of course I wouldn't have. Yeah, you would. The hell, bro? Bruh. Do you think he calls all of his other clones bro? Do you think they just you go around the broing at each other? You said was a treatment center, right? Yeah. If they treat people there, I think they'd have shelves of medicine and stuff. You Did think? you find any Excelivir? Nope. It's not that kind of place. It just had those pods and that was it. You've never laughed your ass off? I don't think so. Like, I have? Well, I mean, not, no, maybe not. I've laughed so hard my abs fell off. <laughs> Um, I don't think I've ever, like, actually laughed my ass off. And any time that I say laugh my ass off, which is very rare, because I usually just go for the simple LOL. Um, but any time you laugh your ass off, I'm not actually. And when I do actually do it, I just don't say anything. Like, I could be cackling over here like an idiot, and I just won't, I won't put it in chat. I won't say anything. It's a weird paradox. Your butt's detachable? Investing in future technologies? Wow, that's incredible. Sex panther? It's made with real bits of panther? What the fuck is the sex panther? What? 
New scent for Mira de Morte. Shit and piss. Uh, sharp, strong, and pungent. Smells like a porcelain throne. Jesus, clean your fucking toilet. Your toilet should smell like bleach. Crotchless spell. I I'm see. gonna go back to this game now. Can the pod cure Radical Six? <laughs> no, How unfortunately. Do you know that? Oh, uh, well, it said on the screen next to the pods. Something about how it could provide relief from the symptoms, but couldn't actually cure the disease. That's better than nothing, though. Mm. Oh, right. There's one more thing about the pods I should tell you. As quick as I could, I explained that they, what the records had said about the pods' occupants and their cold sleep. It's so mysterious. Anchorman reference. Okay. I'm not a Will Ferrell fan. So I've seen, like, absolute zip cold of his movies. Sleep? Except Are you elf. suggesting that three of us were, Somebody until recently, cryogenically frozen? Somebody forced me to watch Elf, so... I actually think we watched Elf, like, in school. No, it's... it's Maybe not in school. I feel like it's too much for school. I don't know. In some capacity, I was forced to watch Elf. Uh, if you can't trust what you read, yeah? Which of us are the pod people, then? The pod people! I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, uh, it didn't say who they were or even when they were frozen. So this cold sleep, that means they basically froze the body solid, right? Not like how a bear or something hibernates where it just slows way down. Our main export is depression? Oh my god. Our fish have AIDS, our river caught on fire. Jesus, that would be a terrible scenario. Yeah, I think so. So, what would happen to the heart? Wouldn't it stop when you were put into a cold sleep? Why does that matter? Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes oh, off. Oh, I see. I see what she's getting at. Interesting idea. Pod people! Wall like fish, tall like people? Are you okay? Hello? Guys, I think hello might be having a stroke. Fire River, fun for the whole family. Uh, so we go into cold sleep, our bracelets would come off. Then we could... You said Oops. there were three pods, right? Yeah. We'd only need to do it three times for the nine of us. Uh-huh. I imagine that will work for you, but perhaps not so much for me. Dude, it's built into your body. That armor. Don't worry, we should go have a look at any rate. We'll be able to come up with a plan once we know more. Of course. All right, we're just gonna ignore the fact that the AB rooms have been open for like 30 minutes. It's fine. It's fine. We didn't need to vote or anything. We'll just go gallivant what? around the base. What more. do you mean the cold sleep function doesn't work? I'm sorry. You don't have anything to apologize for, Luna. Zero Senior must have just locked it down. But when Clover and I were here, it worked. Yeah. I then that bastard set this up. Hey, Wax to Seal, welcome. How are you? Hello, hello, you incredible people. Long time no see. Hope you're all absolutely perfect. Well, that is a very hard standard to live up to, but I also hope so. <laughs> let's see, how how am I today? Let's, ga let's gauge our feelings right now. Earlier today, when I was in One With Bear's stream, I had this feeling, and I don't really know how to describe the feeling. I've had this feeling for like a couple days where I just, I just don't wanna. I don't want to be productive. I don't want to watch a show. I don't want to read the book. I don't want to, I just want to like lay on the floor like Tina from Bob's Burgers and groan. Like that's my only earthly desire. I don't know what this feeling is. I don't know if maybe I'm like bored. I don't know. I don't, I have no idea. That's you right now, Cookie. What is this feeling? Like I just, I was trying to describe it to Bear too. And she was like, I get you, I get you. I don't know what it is, but I understand. And I'm like, how can we all have this feeling of just wanting to lie on the floor and like make noises? <laughs> just like, uh, like that's all. Oh no, except also crying. Oh no, Cookie, is school stressing you out? Oh no. I saw your lovely picture on Instagram either today or yesterday and I loved it. You looked very happy with, the, with your group of classmates, I assume. I will admit, I didn't actually read the post. It was something appreciation day, and I forget. It's winter, so you only need chocolate, and then it's perfect melancholy. Is that what it is? Is it melancholy? 
I have that feel, the melancholy feel. And I like, I like legitimately need to get some shit done because like, I want to prepare some stuff for the, for the streams, right? For, I want to like, pr I need to put together some stuff for the party stream. I'm trying to make some new like start screens and stuff and it's a serious undertaking. I'm like trying to learn new programs and new skills for that. It's a bit, it's a little bit much. It's not going to be ready. Human Trafficking Awareness Month. That's what it was. Today was where blue to raise awareness. Uh, those are the people you intern with. Okay, I fail at wearing blue, but happy traffic awareness month. Human traffic awareness month. Sun lamps, vitamin D, and a little physical activity. That's probably, the last one is probably, I haven't, no, I left the house yesterday. I just don't leave the house that much anymore. And I'm like trying to adjust to this because I mean, all my life, it's go to school, go to gymnastics, go to school, <laughs> go to college, go do the events, go to this club, go to this thing. And now that I'm working from home, I'm just like, I guess, what, what do I do with my day? Like, I'm working, but so I can't like leave and go do something somewhere else. I'm just kind of stuck here twiddling my thumbs sometimes. Praise the sun lamps, praise be. There's enough sunshine. There's, there has, there's been like two cloudy days since I moved here. <laughs> there's sunshine and I do sit in it. I do sit in it quite a bit, but I probably do need to do some like physical activity. Maybe I'll just take up do, working while I do yoga. I'll just like sit in the splits or something ridiculous. Maybe that's what I'll do. My body will be like, what the fuck is happening? It'll be great. It'll mix it up. <laughs> anyway, but other than that, my day's been pretty excellent. I'm gonna continue this game now. Oh, that's low. Uh, I hope all of you are doing better and you don't have the melancholies. It is not pleasant, but consider this. We have seen how thorough Zero is. Would he really have left such an obvious loophole? Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. If Zero Jr. heard me, he could have shut it off. Whatever the case, it is an unfortunate outcome. Unfortunate? Really? Aren't you just a little bit relieved? After all, we were gonna get our bracelets off while you were stuck with yours. How could you say that? I would never be so petty as... I think Kay's suit kind of works like Iron Man. And he was able to just tell... Zero Junior. Jesus, that took me a second. Tell Zero Junior uh, to shut it down from inside his suit. Like Jarvis. It's like fucking Jarvis. I know what you mean. I do homeschool and sometimes I don't even leave the house for a while. Oh yes, hello, you get me. What do you, do you, do you have any like recommendations about what to do to, to try to get out? I mean like I check the mail. That's like the extent of it sometimes. It's a very strange adjustment. I'm working on it. It's negative 10 with 10 uh, meters, minutes, miles, meters. Visibility uh, with full overcast here. I don't envy you. Oh, no, that sounds awful. Specifically the negative 10 part. Bago make her work for it. Oh, I see. Ha 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 ha. That's the other thing, too. Boggs has been working extra hard lately. So he's at home for all of 30 minutes. Literally 30 minutes between 830 in the morning and 10 at night. <laughs> So, it's, it's, I live in a box with my cat and the doggo. I should have read that. I didn't read that, did I? Ten minutes remain until all oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. Time's running out. We should get. Let's go. I'm staying here. I oh can't my god. Are you nuts, old man? You're a solo. Luna and Fi could kill you. Yeah, I know. I've only got one BP. Exactly. If you don't vote, you'll default to ally. All they have to do is pick betray. He's being so... what's the word? Not brave. What's the word? We won't. You staying here won't change our vote. Right. We always intended to choose ally. Ten Miyoji staying here is just another reason for us to stick to that plan. S sacrificial? Luna has the same number of BP as you, Ten Miyoji. I haven't come up with a great solution. I'm just trying to find a good reason to leave my house. I feel you, hello. Let me know if you ever figured it out. I was thinking about like joining a club or joining a gym or something. I haven't found anything that really tickled my fancy, so. Normally the safe plan would be to choose Plus, Betray. 
Gyms cost money. I'm not about that either. <laughs> Since you will be unable to betray them, then Fi and Luna can choose to ally without worrying about their own points. Yes. Well, there you go. I trust Fi and Luna. I'm sure they'll choose ally. Sounds good. Okay then, Tenmyoji, you take care of Quark. You think I need you to tell me that? I won't take my eyes off him for a minute. Blind dates. Does not matter if you're in a relationship or not. As long as he or she pays, Jesus wax. That might not be the best advice. Please don't cheat on your significant other, guys. Come on. If you're not in a relationship, then by all means, do blind dates. We don't have much time left. We need to go. Ten Mioldi is interesting. He definitely is, especially knowing what I know. Back at floor A warehouse, we open up the AB rooms. Psychologists say for a healthy relationship, you need at least 19 minutes to sit down and keep. Four uh, minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Keep your partner up to date during the week? You mean like talk to them and fill them in and tell them about your life? 19 minutes? That's it? I find that highly unlikely as well because 30 minutes a day is not even <laughs> enough for me. I am an attention whore though, so. Do you guys, uh, do you have to work from home? I know some folks that work from home will take their laptops to Starbucks uh, every bit. I do because if I go into an area that isn't secure, like I deal with confidential NDA sort of stuff. So it can't be out in public, unfortunately. That would be a good way to get a free meal. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. I saw like a, maybe it was a, a tweet, I don't remember, about this girl talking about how, oh no, she, it was a text message conversation that this dude had had with this girl and he'd seen her phone and she literally just had him listed in her phone as free food. Like, that was his name. So, yeah, bug testing and stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. Um, anyway, so he stopped seeing that girl because, obviously, she was just using him. That's how I get free meals? Nice. <laughs> it's also how you could get a significant relationship with somebody. The two, though, right? Like, blind dating isn't just all about food. You could find someone you genuinely click with. Uh, okay. Did I ever tell you guys about my semi-blind date experience? It was, it was not the best date experience. If I tell that story though, we're going to end up going into the just talking zone because that's a long story. Um, Sigma, do you remember what I said back in the other warehouse? <laughs> yeah, you told me that we should betray Quark since we might not get another chance like this. Yeah, right? can I, um, take that back? Story time! I feel like I've told this before. <laughs> Let me get just to the voting screen so it's very dramatic. Actually, the music might be horrible if we do that. Let's get to a silent moment. I changed my mind a little Hold bit on. after talking to Ten Miyoji. We could also just do this, I suppose. <laughs> just click out of the game and suddenly it's silent. Okay, 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 okay. Story. Hold on, let me change it to just chatting real quick because this is like legit gonna take a minute. Okay, so get your popcorn, get your blankie, get your soda. I don't know what else you do during story time. So um, this was in college. This was my senior year of college and I had just broken up with a long-term relationship. So I was using like, not Tinder, but what were the other ones? I was using some sort of like meet people in your area app, right? Um, to meet people and just like try to make some friends, try to meet new people, try to, not necessarily searching for a boyfriend, just like, you know, whatever. Um, and also around this time, I started going out more with my friends. And at one night, this is, this is going to be terrible. Mom, don't watch this. Just don't watch this, mom. Um, one, one night I went out with my friends and got terribly drunk, as you do in college. Made out with the DJ at the bar. Um, and I guess I'm just into giving out my number when I'm drunk. <laughs> Gave him my number. 
And he told me he would text me the next day. So sober me wakes up and I was like, what the fuck did I do? Like, I have like bits and pieces and memories of things, right? And uh, the DJ texts me and we'll just call him DJ for the sake of the story. I don't even remember his name. Um, The DJ texts me and he's like, hey, like, I'd like to, you know, take you out to dinner and maybe get to know you a little bit better. Like, actually, you know, his name was DJ. No, it wasn't. I think... I think I know his first name. Anyway, it's not important. Uh, he, he was like, I'd like to, you know, take you out to dinner, get to know you better, you know, um, maybe when you're sober. I was like, oh, that's like really sweet. Like he actually, you know, cares. So um, it happened to be on April Fool's. He asked me to go out to um, a hibachi place that was in town with him. And um, I get there and I text him. I was like, hey, I'm here. And I'm just kind of like waiting in the lobby. And this guy comes through the door. So let me let me preface this with the DJ. DJ was like six foot five. Like this dude was massively tall, right? Um, incredibly tall. Didn't have any facial hair. He had like, you know, some brown fluffy hair. I don't know how you describe it. Like he wasn't bald or anything, right? He had like normal dude hair. Six foot five. Standing in the lobby of the Sabachi place waiting for DJ to show up. And this dude walks through this like five foot, like shorter than me. He's shorter than me. He has this big bushy beard and he goes, Hey, are you, are you Miro? You know, he uses my name. Are you Stevie? And I was like, yeah. And he goes, hi, DJ sent me here. I'm going to be your date today. And I was like, "Uh, Oh, okay. And in my mind, I'm like, well, I mean, I didn't know DJ to begin with, if he wanted to send somebody else on his blind date, I guess that's okay. I also don't know this dude, so I might as well get to know somebody and get food out of the deal, right? Like, that was my thought process. I was like, we'll just have a nice dinner. I'll get to know a different random stranger who may or may not stab me in the kidney at the end of this date, and it'll be fine. (laughs) I don't even think I told anybody where I was going, Um, which is a bad move. Don't go on a blind date without letting your friends know where the fuck you're going. And, um, we, I take like two steps to head into the restaurant and DJ, the actual DJ comes through the door and he's like filming the whole thing on his phone. He's like, ah, April fools. He's like, this is my friend. He's married. Like, we just wanted to prank you. You're actually going to be having dinner with me. He's like, you should have seen your expression. I got it all on film. And I was like, just like ungodly embarrassed. I probably looked like a cherry tomato and I don't think I said anything. I was just like, uh, oh, <laughs> like very embarrassed that I'd fallen for this prank, right? Because I'm usually the one that pulls the great pranks on April Fool's. But this guy got me. He got me so good. Anyway, he like thanks his friend. He's like, we'll go bowling with him and his wife later. Like, you know, it's fine. She's, you know, we'll, we'll you'll get to know him later. And I was like, okay. <laughs> So we had a lovely meal, like, he talked about some stuff. I don't even remember what we talked about. It was just, like, you know, normal banter, whatever. But then, then when we went to bowling afterwards, things started to go downhill. Um, Him and his friend were, like, real tight, and they shared a lot of strange, embarrassing stories that I don't even remember. Um, But, like, they, they just, like, yeah... He was already planning a second date bowling with you. No, no, no. This was right after dinner, right? Like we went dinner to bowling. It was like date one, date two. Date two was a a tanked, right? Because first of all, this was a new experience for me. I've never, I've never dated anybody that wasn't right around my height or a little bit taller. I've never dated somebody that was like a, a, like another person taller than me, right? It was like two people stacked on top of each other. So we do the bowling. They share some really awkward stories. Like I start to feel kind of weird about, you know, maybe things he's done in the past. It's revealed that he lives right next to his parents and he has his entire life. Um, He only works as like a DJ on the weekends. And like, I think he worked at like a grocery store or something during the week and then rides a motorcycle around, right? Like the guy screamed like midlife crisis almost. I don't know. Like he, he was not adult, if that makes any sense. He was very much a parent's boy. Not trying to shame him. He was still nice. Um, 
Anyway, so after bowling, we go out to the parking lot. He hugs me. I suffocate in his chest, right? Because he's so fucking tall. And then while he's like got me contained in this hug, he takes my chin. It was like something out of like a bad drama romance movie almost. Like picture that. Takes my chin and tilts it up and he goes, I think I deserve a kiss by now. And just like lays a kiss on me. And I was like, what the fuck was that line? You think you deserve a kiss right now? What is that? Not like, you're beautiful, can I kiss you? Like, guys, take notes. You do not say, I think I deserve a kiss by now. That's not how you date. That's not how you do it. So I was, like, throwing up in my mouth at this point. I was like, I gotta get away from this guy, right? And I was like, okay, well, like, you know, I'm gonna go. I'm tired. I have school tomorrow, so text me later. (laughs) You don't deserve anything, sir. Yeah. It's, my kisses are a gift, Okay, to be given, not to be stolen. Anyway, so um, the next day he texts me and he's like, hey, you want to come out on a ride on my motorcycle? And I was like, absolutely not. That sounds extremely dangerous and I do not trust you. And you still could stab me in the kidney. Like, that's still a possibility if I ride off into the forest with you. Uh, So I turned him down and I had to turn him down like multiple, multiple times after that. Um, And I'm pretty sure his stick was he just goes to college parties to DJ to pick up girls To try to bring them home and, like, bang them, basically. I think that's, like, what his whole deal was. Because he was, like, God, he must have been, like, 29 in a, like, right next to a college town. Like, that had to be what he was up to. Anyway, that's my story. I never saw DJ ever again. I told him no on multiple occasions. I think I eventually had to block his number because he was just, like, come out on my motorcycle with me. It was ridiculous. The kidney stabbing is a prank, bro. Oh, yeah. An April Fool's prank. Yes. (laughs) Uh, At least you did it with your mouth and not not in him. What? What am I putting in him? Anyway, that's my that's my college dating story. Um, I had another I had another incident. This one isn't as long, so I can tell it in the same stint right here. Um, I had another incident where um, I met somebody on the Tinder app or whatever. He was this cute little Asian boy, like 100% Asian. And we were talking and I liked him and he was like, you know, let's go get some food. And I was like, yeah, that sounds fine. Um, He's like, I have to warn you though, before you meet me, I have a really heavy country Southern accent. And I was like, oh, okay. Like that's a little bit odd, but it should be fine. It was not fine. It was not fine. It was like he came straight out of Texas, like deep South Texas, but was this Asian dude, and my mind was just like, this is wrong, this, I can't, this can't happen. For some reason, I just, my brain couldn't do it. It was so weird. And, like, on paper, it sounds like, oh, whatever, it's an accent, it doesn't matter, like, who cares? It was weird. It was weird. My brain didn't want to. I don't know. What a fuckwad. He's just a flesh wound. (laughs) Yes. To be fair, though, I... Drunk me got me into that situation, right? So I owed it to him to at least try. And DJ was nice up until that point where he thought he deserved a kiss. And that's not, that's not how you go about it, really. That's very very rude. (laughs) Um, what is this, Paladin? It's racist. (laughs) I mean, yes, a little. It wasn't my intention to be, but. Oh, Seishi, don't get me wrong. No, I like... I was also in it for the free food, right? You caught that. I wanted, I wanted food. I was a hungry college kid. So I drunk me, got me into the situation and sober me was like, I'll be nice to him. I'll get free food. It could end up being like a crazy story of like how I met your father sort of deal. So I was like, I'll give it a shot. Like this guy has done nothing rude so far. And then he got rude and I was like, uh-uh, no, no, thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, that, there you go. It, that's, that's, how we, that's how we got to the story, though, was the free food situation. Uh, because even when his weird, shh, he was almost like a dwarf. He looked like a dwarf with his beard and how short he was. He looked like he came straight out of the Lord of the Rings, right? I'm not saying like smaller people midget dwarf no i'm talking like literal the fictional creature dwarf um even when that dude showed up i was like it's free food either way like i don't i didn't know either person why not so anyway 
You should have stored some food in your mouth so he'd not want to kiss you. It's a pro tip right there. Don't want to kiss a dude, just keep food in your mouth for as long as possible. Like, don't chew, just stare them directly in your eye, in the eye with, with cheek pouches full. Okay, what do you say we vote for the death of this I think person? We should choose ally. Uh, hey, that's more than just a little bit. That's like someone trading a Shih Tzu for a German Shepherd. What? Did he say something he... to you? I can't tell you. I just Wh why? Can't. You'd laugh if I did anyway. Okay. Bearded dude, hey babe, want to see my axe? Pretty much. That's exactly what happened. Yes. Um. Also. The, uh, I guess I should also preface the other story about the guy with the very southern accent. I should also preface that with, while it was a little bit weird, I still continued like to have a great meal with him and then went to his friend's apartment with him. And that's where shit went south very fast because not only did he talk southern, but he was like one of the fraternity bros that was like real chummy with his bros, like bro bros. And I asked him before we went there, I said... Hey, can, can we please, like, can you, he drove me there. So I was like, Hey, like, I know that your friends will probably be drinking, but could you stay, could you stay sober so that you can take me home? And he's like, yeah, sure. Like I'll take you home. It's fine. We get there. He immediately smashes like five beers. And then his friends start talking about how they play, they paid other students to write their papers in college. And I was like, I can't be here right now. <laughs> And they were just like, dude, bro, bro, dude, like playing beer pong and broing it up like visors sideways, the polo shirts, like everything stereotypical was happening in this apartment. I was like, I can't, I need to leave. It was something else. It was literally something else. But yeah, him, him saying like, yeah, I'll stay sober so I can drive you home immediately walking through the door and like, you know, like virtually taking like four shots. What the fuck, right? It was, yeah. Have you thought maybe you and not them? I don't think I've ever been on a date anywhere close to that in my 35 years. What do you think, what, what do you mean maybe, maybe you and not them? Like maybe there's something wrong with me? There's definitely multiple things wrong with me and Boggs is a saint for staying with me. I'm glad the bro bro, dude bro cesspool didn't claim you. <laughs> Me too. I had to call a friend to come rescue me and then we went to Taco Bell and it was great. <laughs> Probably a lot of bro jobs and bro rape. They they did seem like the type that would absolutely roofie a girl at the bar. Like that's what these people, I, I'm probably making tons of stereotypes here, but if they're willing to pay somebody to write their college paper, they probably had very low morals on multiple things, so. Really? I'm a curio magnet. Well, yes. Yes, I am. I'm also way too nice for my own good and I have trouble saying no. So I get myself into some shit sometimes. <laughs> promise. Well, I, st I promised. I told Tenmyoji I wouldn't tell anybody. Keep fine. Keep your secrets. <laughs> I mean, it makes for good stories. So, and I haven't lost a kidney yet. So honestly, I'm not doing too bad. <laughs> Never hurts to be proactive. Bro rape is a classic old video. Oh, I didn't, I didn't catch that. Okay, I didn't know. Yes, please, I will watch it later in the discords. Um, I don't think I have any other horrendous dating stories. I really don't. I, I don't think there's anything else. I'm so timid. I'm not likely to get into those situations like that anyway. Well, Seishi, here's my tip to you then: don't drink. <laughs> just don't because even when you're super timid some people when they drink just become like outgoing as fuck and then sober you is like what did I do so just don't <laughs> you'll you'll really you'll regret yourself spells caster said what I meant yes I got it yes both wax and seal spell agree that I am a curio magnet because I'm a dunce sometimes. Yes. I mean, it makes for fun stories, so. I really, I don't think I have anything else though. The rest of my dating life has been very tame. Kind of boring. Uh, I won't ask about it again, but Tamioji doesn't really have anything to do with this, right? Our opponent is Quark. No, he does matter. 
Quark is really important to Tenmyoji. If we betray Quark, we're betraying Tenmyoji. Come on, don't you remember? When we were going into the red, blue, and green doors, Tenmyoji said something. And then Bago came along and it was happily ever after. <laughs> kind of. I don't know if you'd want me to tell how we met, but uh, when Bago initially asked me out, uh, I, we went out on one date and then I told him no. <laughs> I rejected him. Uh, but not because I didn't like Bago, but purely because we worked together and I'd never dated a coworker before and it scared me. I didn't want to lose my job. So little innocent me fresh out of college, my first adult job. And I was like, I can't lose my job after like over a date. Right. So, and then we dated secretly behind everybody at work's back for like four months. <laughs> so, you know, I just couldn't stay away from him. And look at where you are now. Exactly. He always hangs it over my head though. He's like, you, you said no to me. You rejected me. I'm like, I did, but I took you back. <laughs> um. I didn't say there wasn't anyone I trusted. There's one person, Clover. I just know that you'll keep him safe. I can't betray somebody who'd say that about me. When did she have time to talk to Tenmyoji? We've been with her the entire time, have we not? <laughs> If you guys have great, great, crazy dating stories, please, please regale me. Please tell That's me. I would love I to know. know who he was. <laughs> oh no, you're saying you know who Tenmyoji really is? Well, if what he told me was true, yeah. One minute remains until Abadex game polling closes. So Tenmyoji and Clover know each other from outside. We were there when he said that to Clover? Yeah, when he said that, but she's saying that Tenmyoji had time to talk to her and tell her his real identity before, like, but she's been with us this entire time, I thought. Maybe I'm wrong. Last stream was a while ago, so I could be wrong. I'm also Please. not paying attention very well, say she she's okay. <laughs> I'm over here talking about dating stories. Uh, you aren't going to try and vote yourself? If I try, you'll just throw me off, right? I don't think I'm strong enough to fight you, so... <laughs> Alright. With that, I turned to face the voting machine. The question was, what would I do? Ally or betray? Just as Clover had said, betraying Quark was like betraying Tenmyoji. That wasn't even taking into consideration that Quark was just a kid. And he was infected with a deadly disease oh, and would most certainly yeah. kill him if he didn't do something. Violet Duger! Thank you for the resub! Happy 11 months! Oh, you're so close to a year! Tired, so I'm gonna lurk. Just thought I would say hi on the way by. Okay, Violet, I hope you get some good rest. Thank you for dropping in and thank you for the resub. I super appreciate it. Oh, you're so close to, 12, to getting your year badge. I'm so, I'm so excited for everybody to get their year badge. You don't even know. <laughs> do, 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 I, I, every time I read your name, I just read it as Duger. I'm sorry. Ask Fizz, I called him Fizzkins for like two months. I'm sorry. <laughs> it doesn't, it also doesn't help that Dodger, dexterity bonus, press hard to continue, right? Brooke Lawson, that streamer, uh, she goes by Duger. Her name is Dodger, but she goes by Duger. So my brain just does it sometimes. I apologize. What? I've never said say she right either. Are you shitting me? I've met you in person. No, you're just pulling my leg. You're just you're just taking a shit right now. It's pronounced Carl. Oh. <laughs> hey Carl, what's up? <laughs> and you're Carl from now on. You dug your grave. I'm so glad I know the proper pronunciation now. I've been reading it wrong this entire time. I apologize. <laughs> He was infected with a deadly disease that would almost certainly kill him if we didn't do something. How was I to betray someone like that? Only a monster would take advantage of a helpless child for their own gain. It's not Seishi? No, it's, it's Carl. It's Carl. On the other hand, uh, what Clover had said in the warehouse on floor B was true. It was unlikely that I would get the chance like this again. If I chose betray, I would have 9 BP. Uh, I would be able to escape this godforsaken hellhole. 10 seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. <laughs> I'm sitting here laughing. My sister's like, you're a crazy person. Tell her I say hi. Also, 
Tell me I say Happy New Year, because I never got a chance to, and now it's like halfway through July, or July, every time, January. I don't understand where January went. Like, I, yesterday was New Year's. What happened? How did this happen? I think it's part of the melancholy. I think, I think that's what's happening. My life is flashing before my eyes. 10 seconds remain. Okay, we got 10 seconds. What are we gonna do? Uh, so what my choice be? What would I do? Ally or betray? I chose Three, the suspense two, at always one. the last minute. We always gotta wait. How did we get here? Fuck, I have no idea. Ally. Let me remind you. What are you reminding me of? Please remind me. I probably Round forgotten. Two of the she says hi and happy new year's back. Yay! Completed. Tell her thank you. Result. Thank you. Alright. Alright, we voted. We voted Ally. We're gonna be nice. What did you choose, Sigma? <laughs> Praise the sun, motherfuckers! <laughs> I don't know why I have to say it like that. Is that a quote from a movie? I feel like it's a quote from a movie. You didn't see me no. push the button? Well, you'll know in just a minute. Let's go. Let's go. I gave her a light pat on the shoulder and headed towards the wall where the results were being displayed. That's how we started? Results what do you mean? That's, that's how we started the year? I don't think that's how I started the year. I started the year becoming best friends with the toilet. <laughs> Can only go up from here, right? I mean, of course he allied. Why was that a mysterious? Interesting, okay. So nobody has nine. What up, we get to go through the white door. It's a Californian thing? The praise the sun is? I'm so confused. The motherfuckers thing is? I'm even more confused. Um, nobody has nine. This is incredible. I love that Kay, Alice, and Dio all betrayed each other. <laughs> Get wrecked. Being very obvious about what you're watching. Californication thing. Californication. Wow, way to shorten that brain and just make it California. What the hell, brain? Ivory, thank you for the host. Hello, hello, how are you? Um, Californication, yes. I fucking love Californication. Uh, <laughs> yes. Hi, Ivory, how's it going? It, that's like a, that's a SNL skit, right? I think. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Hold on, is Californication an actual show? I'm thinking of the Californians. That's the SNL skit. Californication. That is... Okay, no, I've never actually seen that in my life. I must just hang around people that watch it. I don't know. I only just looked at the tweet for tonight's stream and saw you use Scooby-Doo. Yeah, because I, I said it was going to be full of mystery. So you got to have the mystery machine, right? He always says it like that. Oh, maybe maybe these are my people. What is it? I said something the other night on stream and somebody was like, oh, are you on the West Coast? And I was like, I am, but how do you know that? <laughs> the mystery machine. Lots of loot. Yes, yes, Ivory. You're good. Good to hear that. Um, Yeah, no, that, I, that's not where it's coming from for me. I don't know. Um, okay, so a lot of people have eight. Nobody has nine. This is good. This is good. Points have been pleased. Check your bracelets. So you chose ally, huh? Yep. Quark is a, is sick, a kid, and unable to vote. I couldn't bring myself to portray someone thank like you. that. You're welcome. No need to thank me. I only did what anyone would have. I'm assuming that I'm standing like a fucking superhero just right now. Oh, Californication has lots of loot. Hallow has also never seen it. Apparently we should try out this show, you guys. It's got lots of loot. I'm all for it. Superhero pose, activate. Been watching for the sex scenes when it was on TV in Germany. What? I, there's, I mean, in the US we have HBO, which has sex scenes like every other scene. So it's like nothing new. It's, that's every show. Every show I expect there to be a sex scene in, in at least one episode. <laughs> I mean, unless you're watching the shit that I watch, which is like Hoarders or like HGG, HGTV, and then you're definitely not, exp you're hoping there's no porn. 
Do not- I will not- No, I never said I would stream the show. No. Instaban! No. I said we should watch it. I didn't say we should collectively watch it on a stream. Um, no need to thank me. I only did what anyone would have. <laughs> so you guys chose Ally course, too, huh? Ten Miyoji had only one BP left, and he was guaranteed to vote Ally. No, no hentai dating sims. No. So there's no way we could betray somebody in that position. If we had, then he'd. <laughs> yeah, you didn't have much choice. Alice K and Dio, on the other hand, seem to have had a less pleasant round. Mm, they're hey, probably arguing. What the hell is your problem? You're either crazy or just an asshole. Were you trying to kill me? No, nothing like that. Well, then, what was it like? If we'd voted ally, I. You would be dead. The needles in your bracelet would have activated, killing you. See? That's exactly what I'm talking about. I didn't think there was any way in hell you guys would choose ally, not with Alice's BP at one. The only way you could possibly vote was betray. Picking ally when I knew you guys would pick Betray would have been suicide. You can't die. You've got six BP. Well, maybe not immediately, no. But I would have been signing my own death warrant. Heck, not just mine. He's got a point. Everyone except K's. What? Didn't you think it through? Your vote was always going to be Betray. Let's say I was a raving lunatic and picked ally. I what still... What would happen to K's BP? I still lobby that I could not play a game like this because I would be too lazy to do the mental math of who would end up with what, and I would just be like, ah, fuck it, I don't know, that button. <laughs> and then I'd be dead. Six plus three would make nine. See? Then it'd be game over. Life over. He'd open the number nine door and blow this popsicle stand. And that'd leave us twisting in the wind, living twisting with the rest in of the our wind. miserable lives stuck in this place. Twisting in the wind, is that a thing? Yeah, all right, this button. This one's a pretty color. Exactly. There would be like no rhyme or, or logic behind it at all. You see, that's why I chose Betray. I did it to save all our necks, including yours. Alice gritted her teeth and scowled fiercely at Dio, uh, apparently trying to think of a rebuttal before finally snorting indignantly and walking away. Shortly thereafter, the warehouse was filled with the rumbling sound of drawers shutting. D do doors, not drawers. <laughs> and if this, the uh... Gates. Shush, shush, is the shush. And if you were a pair, your pair mate would be like, Why not do this? <laughs> yeah, and I'd be like, I'd do whatever you want, dude. Um, as many, so, okay, yeah. So the rules have changed, and we can now go through the door. We can now do the A B game as many times as we want, um, and we're gonna go. We're gonna try to go through the white doors, I think. So it's always better to cooperate. That's how economics is supposed to work. I mean, theoretically, yes, it is better. But I mean, people are assholes. So here we are. As many times as we want, then we that means... We can play means... the AB game as many times as we want, right? That's hey, literally what I just said. Zero Junior say something about this. As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically. A parent solo assignments hop around a bit too. Okay, we went... We jumped this direction. Yeah, he did. Can you guys show me your bracelets? I want to see what all of our what our colors and groups are this time. Within moments, a series of wrists were extended for me to examine. Why, thank you. Why are we going slow-mo here? Oh, I literally have to click the button on these? Jesus. I see. Luna and Clover are a cyan pair, Fi and Alice are a magenta pair, then the remaining three are all solos. K is red, Dio is green, and I'm blue. Do you think we can? Yeah, I no. heard about those. I'm late, but I'm here now. Can we start over? Welcome, Falstro. How are you? How was your stream? I was lurking because I don't want Hollow Knight spoilers, but I hope you had a good stream today. Um, uh, I heard about Alice those. told me about them while we were here waiting for you and Clover. Also, if we started over, we would be fucked because we've done we've done a bit. We've done like maybe a little bit of the game. <laughs> Only 15 hours worth. It's fine. I think I've got them figured out. <laughs> Yeah, so lay it out for us. How are the groups gonna shake this time? Hollow Knight aggroed you? Really? Interesting. Is there a difficulty setting on that game? I don't remember. 
Uh, option A, Tammy OG and Quark uh, pair up with me and then open a door. Fine, Alice and Dior pair in a door. Luna, Clover, and Kay open a door. Oh, is there only one option? Yes, no other combinations would be able to open the secondary doors. Admittedly, Tenmi, OG, and Quark aren't here for us to check, but I'm sure they're the yellow pair. If they weren't, then Sigma would be stuck without anybody he could pair up with. Oh God, I never thought I'd have to put up with Dio again. Well, you just didn't think hard enough then. Sooner or later, everybody puts up with Dio. Wait. Wait, what? It's 4 a.m. Falstro, go to sleep. What are you doing? Do you have the melancholies too? The map design triggers you. I see. Okay. I actually enjoy the artwork in that game, so I probably wouldn't mind running around quite a bit. Hmm. Do you just like dug his own grave? I don't know what just happened. Alrighty, we finally get to go through the third set of doors, hopefully. Allegedly. So, um, what should we do now? It looks like we have a lot of time until the primary doors open. An hour and a half. Yeah, about 80 minutes. I'm worried about Quark's condition. Those pods can't cure Radical Six. He still needs help. Well, we don't have anything to lose. So we might as well look for that medicine. Uh, Excelivir, right? <laughs> I'm disappointed in chat. No one said shaking in the wind was their nickname in high school. Spell. It was my nickname, but not in high school. In college. I'm sorry to disappoint. It's 4 a.m. for you two. Boys, go to sleep. What are you doing? Yeah. What about the rest of you? Oh, I'll help. As will I. Me too. Uh, fine. I guess I can help. What about you, Sigma? Of course I'll help. What kind of jerk wouldn't. Okay. We should split up and search. Less to go. After some discussion, Dio and Kay were assigned to the pantry, Luna and Alice, the treatment center, and Clover and Fi and myself, the pressure exchange chamber. What is that? Shall we Did we go to that? Shall we the warehouse 10 minutes before the doors open? Sure. We all nodded. Kay and Alla... Kay turned to Alice and Luna. You are going to the treatment center, correct? Yes. Then please remember to tell Tenmyoji where we intend to meet and when. Okay. You must also remember to bring Quark with you. I am concerned about removing him from the pod, but it can't be helped. Spell is for... Go to sleep, you goobers. I don't think I've ever watched a stream at four in the morning. Watching girls stream hentai dating scenes on Twitch. They're all getting banned, so whoever you're watching, say goodbye to. Um... Without Quark's bracelet, Sigma and Tenmyoji will be unable to open the secondary oh, door. Oh, that means they will be able- they right. will have to take them out. Good. Looks like- Let's go. Ivory, are you actually headed off to sleep? <laughs> okay, I hope you get some good rest. Uh, I hope that you don't have to wake up early, either. Thank you for dropping in. Thank you for the host. Uh, I've only done that during the 24-hour charity streams. Not even then, I don't think. I- two years ago, like I- not two years. The first one that we did. I participated in the second one that they did I didn't know about in time so I didn't end up doing that one stay lewd we will we will um I only ever watch you stream at four in the morning oh, spell I always forget that some of you guys like <laughs> literally make poor adult decisions to be here <laughs> you can watch the VODs I'm still just as stupid in the VODs it's fine uh, when a final nod to one another, we split up each team heading in a different direction. You're a poor excuse for adult. Yeah, me too. I don't, I don't eat nearly enough vegetables. Oh, this is the pressure exchange. Okay, this is the pressure exchange chamber. Now I remember. I do recall. So this is the pressure exchange no, chamber. this is the prep room. Okay, just kidding. There are kidding. two levels. The actual pressure exchange chamber is downstairs. How do you know that? Alice told me. She was one of the people who investigated this room. <laughs> Ew, vegetable. Uh, did you talk to her when you were waiting for us back at the warehouse? Yeah. Well, let's head downstairs Good then. Good idea. I don't think we've ever actually, have we been? No, we've been, I don't know. I don't know if we've been down here. We were in a room that looked like this, but I think that was when we were escaping with Fi and Dio, so that would have been upstairs, technically. So this is Seems the real like thing. It. 
Why would they have something like this well, here? Well, this is just what Alice told me, but... Apparently, the pressure inside the facility is a lot higher than the pressure outside. That was part of the system designed to keep the virus from getting in. It did mean, however, that we needed to go through a decompression process in order to get outside. Remember all those suits along the wall of the prep room? Those keep you from getting infected. We won't even be able to enter the pressure exchange chamber if we don't have them on. Oh, that's a little extreme. I see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Then that newspaper article was right? Unfortunately, that seems pretty likely. I mean, the cork literally has the disease, so yes. So the air out there is teeming with Radical yeah. Six. Something's been bothering me. What is it? Aren't you saying that if we put on those suits, we can go into the pressure exchange chamber and go outside, right? Oh, no, we can't do that. You have an excuse, you're an insomniac? I guess that makes sense. In that case, I'm happy to keep you company, Spell. The door beyond the pressure exchange chamber is locked up tight. <laughs> Damn it. Just one door between us and freedom. Well, if you look at it that way, it's the same as the same as the number nine door. I accidentally hit the button. Apologies. Okay, yeah, but whatever. We need to be focusing on finding that Excelivir. Quark needs it. It's true. Yeah, you're right. I'll go look around upstairs. You two take this floor, all right? <laughs> Got it. Okay. You gots it, girl. Spoiler: We don't find shit. What is that? We looked everywhere we could, but turned up with nothing. Eventually, I couldn't keep my mouth shut any longer. Clover, what's the deal? Girl. Hey, what do you think the deal is with that stuff about the world being infect infested with some crazy virus? Does do viruses infest? I would have felt like infect would have been a better word there. Uh, a pandemic seems like it would have made the news, but I don't remember hearing anything. Wait a minute. You mentioned it, didn't you? Back when Dio was asking questions? We were in the infirmary. Uh, it was right after Quark lost it. Have any of you guys heard anything about any sort of viral pandemic? Well, no, but... <laughs> and then Alice said, I have heard rumors about a virus being used as a bioweapon. <laughs> so what's the rumor she was talking about? Oh my god, are we actually gonna get some answers here? I got the feeling you and Alice were talking about the same thing. Clover, what do you know? What are you and Alice anyway? Please tell me. I heard you guys belong to some sort of organization, but what is it? Answers! We need answers. There's too many questions and not enough answers. Clover was quiet for a long time. She bit her thumbnail and looked down at the floor. Then finally she lifted her head and met my eyes. Fine. I think I can trust you. Yes. Just don't tell Alice, okay? All right. Promise? Promise. Clover nodded and began to talk. I listened with rapt in attention for a complete loss, at, at a complete loss for words. Here's what she said. You guys ready? Alice and I are agents of the SOIS, which is under the jurisdiction of the Department of Defense. SIOS stands for Special Office of Inter Internal Security. And we are an elite in intelligence division that investigates potentially disruptive or dangerous elements such as domestic or foreign terrorists, radical political splinter groups, or religious organizations with extreme agendas that could pose a threat to the state or citizenry. Oh, you mean like Dio's fucking clone cult? That could pose a threat. Our existence hasn't been made public, so there are few people who even know we exist. You're probably wondering how I even gotten involved with something like that, huh? Well, it started when I met Alice. Hey, at the car! I told you I played a Nonary game twice before, right? Well, right after the second, this was right after the second time, so about a year ago. We'd just escaped, we were all stuffed into an SUV barreling across the desert. I was driving, and that's when I saw her. Hey, confirmed, Alice. She was standing next to the road with her thumb out. She was already working for the SOIS and she'd been a part of, and she'd been on her way to the building we'd been trapped in as part of her investigation. Really? Really? Are you sure? In that outfit with no shoes? Are we positive? Are we positive? That's, that's, that is a nice booty. I will not lie. I wish I could get rid of this text for you so you could see like the upper half. It's fine. Uh, but on the way there, her car had broken down. We offered to give her a ride, of course. 
Uh, after she got in, we started talking, and it turned out that Alice had gotten the tip about the terrorists she was after uh, were in the building we'd been trapped in. We couldn't see how us playing the notary game had anything to do with terrorists. But Alice had a suggestion. Maybe the two people who were trapped who trapped you in there are the terrorists. And didn't seem that didn't seem very likely to us, but we were chasing after them anyway, so we decided to bring Alice with us. Fortunately, we didn't find them. Santa and June are the people they're talking about. She had to blend in. She's a secret agent. Oh, so in the desert, you automatically have to dress like an Egyptian? <laughs> in the Nevada desert? Five out of seven would wake up in a bathtub full of ice, missing a kidney to pick up that <laughs> hitchhiker. <laughs> it's all about that kidney. Uh, we couldn't find them. As far as we know, they're still out there now on the run. Anyway... We were taken back to SOIS headquarters and put into custody. I guess they thought there had to be some kind of connection between us being kidnapped and the terrorist group they were investigating. But they must not have found anything because after a few days of questioning, they let us go. We all went home to return to our lives. But things didn't go back to the way that they had been. My mom had gotten real worried about me and my brother since we'd been kidnapped twice now. So she hired bodyguards for us. Oh, I haven't told you about my brother, have I? He's super awesome, for one. Uh, and he was in both of the last two Nonary games, too. So anyway, we've been grabbed twice. But the people behind the two Nonary games were totally different. That didn't matter to my mom, though. So after all these huge men in black... So after that... So after that, all these huge men in black suits had to follow me and my brother everywhere. It was awful. We were always being watched. People would look at us funny because we were being followed by a bunch of creepy looking dudes. I couldn't stand it. Just when I thought I'd finally been free, all that was waiting for me was another kind of prison. The only time I was ha really happy was when I, I was hanging out with my brother. So we were talking it over one day and we decided to leave, like run away. So we did it. After that, we lived on our own. What the fuck is this harp about? I worked in a cafe. Oh, and Snake composed music. He plays the harp and he started writing this kind of new agey music, but it got kind of popular, so we didn't have to worry too much about surviving. Sometimes he'd play uh, a little at little venues like coffee houses and stuff, and his fans would show up to listen to him play and cry. <laughs> or some of them would meet on their own and recite stuff from the books he'd written and play his songs. I know this sounds kind of like weird and culty, but they just do their own stuff, okay? My brother doesn't really have anything to do with it. That's how you, that's how you accidentally become a cult leader, I would know. Uh, anyway, we did that for a while, and then one day Alice showed up. I need your help, she told us. We need people who can do what you can do. Read minds. So we went to the location she gave us, and it turned out to be the headquarters of the SOIS where they had taken us after the second nonary game. They put us in a room with a dozen or so people who were all about the same age as us, and a bunch of them looked familiar, too. It was only... It only took a moment for... A, that... Jesus. They couldn't voice act this part. It only took a moment to realize how we each knew each other. They were all kids from the first nonary game. We were all excited to see each other and stuff again, but uh, and we were hugging and shaking hands and stuff, and then Alice walked in. The whole room went quiet. She walked up to the podium and looked around the room, making eye contact with each of us. Right now, a terrorist organization is preparing for a major attack. They plan to trigger a vi viral pandemic. If they succeed, they will, not, they will strike a massive blow against all humanity, not just any one country. It's possible that we, as a species, will die out completely. We are doing our best to prevent this, but we need your help. You are uh, what we call espers. You have the ability to access the morphogenetic field. We need that. It's not a cult, okay? We just got free pa free pajamas. Um, I'm guessing you don't know what any of that is, but basically we can do this thing that's kind of like telepathy. I mean, it isn't really telepathy, but it's probably the closest thing. Espers can resonate their consciousness with another person through this thing called the morphogenetic field. The purpose of the nonary game was to research that ability, so they kidnapped kids who had the potential to do it and threw them into the game. Alice had been gathering up the kids from the experiment. Well, I mean, it, we, it had been kids nine years before it happened, so they weren't really kids anymore. Anyway, 
Everybody she brought in was an Esper. That included me and my brother, of course. I bet you think I'm making this all up, huh? I don't blame you. It's pretty crazy. I mean, I was even starting to forget I could do that stuff. So when I heard Alice's story, I was like, screw that. I was trying to move on with my life. And now that some shady government creeps wanted me to use my weird ability uh, for them, no way. I wasn't even sure I could do it anymore. Some of the others felt differently though, and they told Alice they'd do it. It was a job after all, and most people wouldn't turn down a salary like that. Oh right, I forgot to tell you. She told us how much they'd pay us if we helped. It was a lot. More wealth than you could imagine. But I was totally against doing it. My brother told me that he'd go along with whatever I decided, so I decided we'd, we were leaving. I take, I take the job. I take the job to use my psychic powers. Uh, a couple of days passed and Alice showed up to our apartment. She didn't waste time. The people behind the first notary game might have been part of the terrorist organization Alice and the SOIS were after. Wasn't that, she asked, something that I might want to know more about? That got me curious. My brother, too. But the clincher was that Seven was what Seven said to us. He was one of the guys that was abducted with, the, with us in the second notary game. She called him on the phone right then and there and handed it to us. You guys are the only people that can do this. We don't know where Junpei is. He's gone off to travel the world looking for Akane. I, I haven't been able to get a hold of him. Please, just do me a favor and help Alice out. Junpei, like Seven, another participant from the second owner game. If you haven't played the first game, a lot of this would probably be very confusing. Just saying. One of the people behind the second, Akane, one of the people behind the second notary game. Seven was a Japanese policeman, which was probably how Alice had gotten in touch with him. Anyway, that did it. My brother and I agreed to join the SOIS. For the next couple of months, all we did was train. Half of the time, it was general knowledge and technical skills the SIOS agent needed, and the other half was learning to strengthen our Esper abilities. They actually, they'd actually known about Espers for quite a while and had a lot of techniques that helped us get better and stronger. Is she talking to him right now? After several months of work, we, had fi we were finally ready for our first field missions. Mine was infiltration. My brother stayed back at the base so I could relay information back to him. Through him. Back through him. I was supposed to sneak into a research facility posing as one of the workers and then use the morphogenetic field to transmit what I had found back to my brother. But, oh my god, we got kidnapped. Everything went wrong. It was a trap. The whole research facility was a fake and I got captured. Alice had to come rescue me. I'd been sending information about the inside of the facility to my brother, and Alice used that information to come find me. As soon as she got there, she picked me up and carried me out. She's, she's our knight in shining armor, you guys. I was relieved and happy to be alive and free, but also felt ashamed and miserable. While she was carrying me back out, I started to cry. She was just so cool, and I wasn't. I wanted to be just like her. So from that day onward, I did everything I could to be more like Alice. What the fuck even is this storyline? <laughs> no. Our infiltration ended in failure, but we did manage to get something useful. In fact, we were able to figure out where their headquarters was. Direct, uh, the directors decided that December 25th, 2028 would be the day that we would strike. This time I promised myself we wouldn't screw it up. I was finally going to get some answers about something that had been with me for most of my life. But on December 22nd, three days before the the raid, Alice and I were attacked by people in gas masks while we were going over our plans. Dun, dun, dun. This, this is so long. This is so long and very involved. Uh, when you woke up, you were in the yeah. warehouse. Holy shit, it's over. All right, let's unpack that for a second. TLDR met Alice, joined SOIS after some thinking and Junpei and Akane going missing. Was gonna go on a mission, woke up here. There you go. That was, I saved you 15 minutes of your life. You can finally go grab food! Do it. All that talking seemed to have tired Clover out. It tired me out, so yeah. She sighed and her long hair uh, swayed as she moved. Uh, I got a few questions. What are they? Duo's clone army, Dio's clone army, could you explain please? Sorry, I don't know much about that game. Sure, hello. So, um, when we played through this, this path right here, right? We got Dio's ending. And Dio basically said that he was 
part of this group called the Meridi Mer 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 Myrmidons? Myrmidons? I think it was Myrmidons. Part of this group called the Myrmidons that was this race of people that were all clones. They all looked the same. And the guy that headed it up, I think his name was... Was it Left? Anyway, this dude, his younger brother died. So he cloned his younger brother and then just like kept fucking making clones. And then he had this whole army of clones. Uh, and he wants to use them to create a utopian society where everybody's equal and nobody's different, right? Because if you take away race and looks and everything that, you know, clones don't have, individuality, basically. If you take that away, then nobody can be discriminated against. So that's this guy's goal, is he has this cult of clones that believe that they're going to bring upon this, this, uh, the Myrmidons. Yes, that's what it was. Uh, they're going to bring upon this utopian society um, with just their clone bodies, basically. It was very strange. I, it was very, very odd. Basically, that's it. Um, and we're this, this dude named Sigma, and we're, we're playing this game in this warehouse, right? But we're, every time we make a decision, there's a different branch. So, um, some of these end to our death, some of these, you know, get us more information. Um, and since we're like hopping, like our, our body, our mind remembers what's happening in all the other different timelines. Our consciousness is like hopping between them. Um, so for instance, in the Dio timeline, we were able to get a code that could deactivate a bomb in another timeline. It's a whole mess. There's like a lot of sciencey shit. Schrodinger's cat is involved in multiple ways. That's about all you need to know, I think. So you create a society of inbreds starting from the next generation. I'm not sure why they, they, no, I, they, they aren't though, because it's all just dudes. It's all just dudes that look like Dio. It's just a lot of Dio's. It's not like they have female versions of Dio. There's no inbreeding. It's just more clones. They will just continue to make more clones. That is the birthing process, I think, is their idea. Uh, first off, your powers, I guess. I'm guessing you can't use them yeah, right now? I'm not really sure why. Thank you for explaining. I appreciate it. I mean, as long as the clones aren't violent, they should be okay. They're dicks, though. Hello, Dio's like the nastiest character. He's so mean. He, like, has... He has specifically done actions that would get people killed for the sake of his, like, mission or whatever he calls it. So, he's not the best person. Remembering the timelines is also very good to know. Yes. Um, hello, I also suggest if you haven't seen 999, my previous game, uh, watch the playthrough for that because that one is amazing and it'll blow your mind and it's great. And then you can jump into this one and you'll have a little bit more knowledge of what this girl just spit out, basically. Um, I've been okay. sending my brother messages ever since I woke up, but... No response? Yeah. If there was another Esper here, they could make me stronger. But that's just wishful thinking. Wait. Well, if there's someone else who's stronger than me, then they kind of absorb my powers. Maybe... No, never mind. That's probably not it. Right, whatever. Uh, I have some other questions, so moving on. Uh, I think I understand what Alice was talking about now. You, they were trying to sp uh, spread yeah. that virus, right? Okay, well, so who are they? I tell you that. What? Why not? You told me all the other stuff, but this is too what? much. I already told you I wouldn't tell her. Just tell me. Fine. Let me rephrase. When are you going to do it? Well... If we knew that, we wouldn't have gone to all that trouble. So you don't no, know. All we know is soon. But that could mean just about yeah, anything. It could be next week or next month or even next year. Dio sounds not great. Yeah, he uh let, let me show you my notes. My notes. This is Dio. He's a dick butt and he's also a uh, trash. So. <laughs> yes, um you're welcome for the suggestion and it is purely a suggestion because it's actually like a lot of content to go through but it's a great game so worth um oh, could have happened already wait you mean that they might have already released the Wouldn't virus that make the most sense 
Like, how about this room? Or that newspaper article? And... The three people who were put in cold sleep. Are you saying you, me, and Alice were frozen and the pandemic happened while we were on ice? Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. Nobody else has heard of Radical Maybe Six lying. either. Really? All well, six of them? If Kay really does have memory loss, then it's only five. Quark is out too. <laughs> For some reason with that emote, it's even more funny. Nickmut! <laughs> Such an adorable emote. Uh, Quark is out too. So you're saying Tenmyoji, Dio, Phi, and Luna are all lying. Luna we know for a fact is a fucking liar because she said she didn't know about it and then she was like, but we can get Excelibir to cure it. It's like, if you didn't know about it, how do you know that? How do you know that? Um, I guess they are a little suspicious. Right? So what's their motive? For lying? How would I know? And what's the motive for the terrorist organization to start the I pandemic? It was something about purifying the unclean? That would be Dio's group. It's Dio's group that's trying to spread the virus then. Premium Miro content, always. <laughs> always. You you only get premium here. <laughs> Purifying the oh, unclean. Unclean, unclean, unclean. She's unclean. having a brain blast. Or she broke, what, what are you Shut doing? Shut up, just hold on a minute. I'm this close to remembering. Unclean, clean, clean, clean. clean. I'm sorry, Ian. Suddenly she left up really excited. Did you forget it already? I'm talking about this stuff. Oh yeah. As soon as she spoke, she sp pulled something out of her pocket. It was the injection gun, complete with a vial of medicine. Oh right, I remember that. It was in the safe in the treatment center, yeah. right? I didn't have any idea what it was though, so I gave exactly. it to you. Exactly. Uh, are you saying that you've heard of this neostygamine stuff yeah, before? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I just remembered. Okay, all right. We're gonna get some stuff. She remembered a thing. Oh, good. One of those purifying cults. Great. <laughs> get to learn about the stuff. Are you guys ready to learn about the stuff? My brother told me about that. Neostigmine is a type of colon esterase inhibitor. Well, I've been saying it wrong. It's neostigmine. A cholinesterase inhibitor? That means it's a sort of antidote for tubocurine. Uh, I'm sorry, I still don't get it. How easy do I have to make it? Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll start at the top, all right? The stuff I've got in here is neostigmine, which counteracts the muscle relaxant tubocurine. Oh, which is the shit that's in our bracelet. So this stuff will counteract the muscle relaxant that goes in before the poison goes in in our bracelets. Nice. Well, not nice, because then you would just die in pain, right? No, wait, it uses soparil beta, and then it uses the turbocurine, because if you're asleep and then your muscles relax, you die. Yeah, 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 Paladin, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm getting this together. So this would save you effectively. This would save a person from the effects of the bracelet. Following me? Uh, Turbocurian is the poison in our bracelets, right. right? It's the second thing we get injected with if we're penalized. Yeah. And then you could just let the soparil wear off. Is right, this exactly. Which puts you to sleep? Nine minutes later, the Turbocurian is injected, numbing your respiratory muscles. I guess you could say it'll really take your breath away. Cool beans. So we got one cure. So you're saying this nearest uh, stig stigmine, nearest stigmine, keeps it from working? Yes. Oh my God. How many times are you going to make me say it? A bunch. So we inject ourselves with this if we get penalized. Yeah. We don't have to die. We're going to be okay. We can only pull the trigger once, though. That means we can only use it to cure one yeah. person. Well, it's probably going to be Alice, because I think she has one, doesn't she? And then you scare a whole bunch of people because you come back from the dead. Oh, yeah, it'll be great. Uh, I, it's still good news. This means that one of us can break the rules once. Like, the let's see. The best way to use it would be for sneaking through the number nine door. If somebody gets nine points, they can open it, right? With mm -hmm. this stuff, somebody who doesn't have nine points could still leave with them. And mm. I'm going to go tell Alice. 
What? Hey, Clover, wait! Clover! And she's gone. It was too late. Clover was already on the lift and gone. Damn. Uh, I was, I think, understandably upset. With no stairs, my only choice was to wait for the lift to come back down. And so, uh, as, as soon as it came back, I jumped on it and headed upstairs. I'm glad we had the mono inner monologue about having to wait for the elevator. Fi, uh-oh. She's not looking too hot. Where'd Clover go? Fi, can you hear me? She's got radical six. She didn't say anything. She was staring at me with her mouth half open. Her eyes seemed slightly glazed and her body was unnaturally stiff. Fi? I grabbed her shoulder and shook her gently. Slowly she raised an arm, fingers drooping limply from it. She gestured towards the exit that led away from the warehouse. That way? She went out that door. Fi's only answer was a slow, shallow nod. Right, got it. Thanks. Are we just gonna- are we just gonna fucking leave her here? I headed for the exit, then paused. Don't just leave her here. You look pretty tired. Get some rest, all right? How stupid is this boy? How stupid are you, Sigma? Hey, Julie, welcome. How are you? Hello, hello. Am I the only one who sees the skull pattern in her leopard headband? Oh, I have not noticed, but I will look next time. Remind me. Julie, we're about to leave fine. She's not okay. She's got, she's got the sixes. Still no response. There was something odd about her, but catching Clover seemed like more of a priority. Okay, deuces. I, I turned back around and jogged out the door towards the treatment center. Later. <laughs> oh my god. Well, she's dead. That was fun. It's dot time, everybody. There's no hot door action in that. Oh wait, here it is. Here's Here's some door action. Thanks, Spell. Jellyfishes. Huh? This is weird. Where is everybody? I didn't. Ass I assumed Alice would be in the treatment center, so Clover would have gone there to find her. But the room was empty. This is getting creepy. Luna and Tanmyoji were gone too. They left Quark, and the readout of the pod still said that his vital signs were normal. As far as I could tell, oopsie. As far as I could tell, he was still asleep. Fine. Guess I'm going to have to go look elsewhere. Uh, I made my way out of the treatment center. Hot hinge door. Fuck, I don't remember the second A again. Something action. Is only when Phi is not dying? Oh, I see. When you see that depressed Phi expression, you know it's bad news. Yes, Jave, 100%. Animation action, animation action. Yes, yes, yes. To me, action and animation are like virtually the same word, so. Find the girl. Hot hinge door animation action. It sounds like the world's worst superhero. <laughs> Come on, where is everybody? They're all dead. We're in a place with zombies right now. Hey, it's that poster though. What the hell? What is going on here? I can't find anybody. Every single room is empty. Wait, there's still one place I haven't checked. Where haven't we looked? The infirmary! They're all in there. They're all dead. They're all dead. I'm calling it right now. Everybody is dead. Hold on. Hold on. I, I just, I know. Everybody's gonna be dead. You imagined them all along. You've actually been mad shit this entire time. There was no bunny. I know someone who notoriously misspeaks peanuts for penis. Oh dear. Hold on, how far are we? Oh, 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 we only got one node left. We're dead. I ran in the room and stopped short. I might as well have run into a brick wall. My chest tightened so much I could barely breathe. No. What? What happened? I felt my whole body convulse. Whether from terror or nausea, I couldn't tell. My legs went limp and I crumpled to the floor. We're going down. 
Something sticky pressed up against the palm of my hand. I looked down to see blood, a vast warm pool of fresh blood stretching out across the room, lapping at my legs and hands. Why, this can't be real. How could... Everybody's dead. Literally everybody. Except Cork. He's fine. Holy shit! If I was just downstairs, how did she get up here to die? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where the fuck is Kay? Where the fuck is Kay? Kay murdered everybody! If I was just downstairs... Check their pulse! No, they're dead. They're just- I mean, they're just sleeping. The, he's in iron murder mode! I guess. My god. Slumber party! Just taking a snooze! They all passed out after a hardcore party- a uh, hardcore night of partying. In the middle of the lake of blood was an island of flesh where bodies- What? Like an island of flesh? That's awful. They were- uh, there were- they were in a bloody tangle of lifeless limbs and dead eyes with too much blood and chaos for me to tell who was who. Had they sliced themselves open or stabbed one another? I couldn't tell. All the blood, too much blood. Whatever they'd done, it was clever. It was clear the tool that they had used to do it. Everybody went ballistic with the scalpel. The scalpel lay next to them, its handle a blade streaked with gore. This is how they had died, a tiny blade. What's up? Do we know who K is? We do not. We do not. You mean your parties don't always have lots of blood? I mean, mine always do. I say she, yours surely do. Uh, Quark, no, Quark was still in the pod. It said that he was still in the pod. His vital signs were fine. Um, he was sleeping. Oh, God, this is it. It's all over. This is how it ends. That's right. I have to end it. This nightmare will finally be over. Time to wake up. Oh, we've fallen prey to it, too. My fingers scraped across the floor as I picked up the scalpel. What the fuck is this disease? That we just see dead people and we're like, I also must die. Yes. <laughs> this is fine. Quark is K. He's just controlling a robot. Ooh, I like that theory. Um, I lifted it slowly, carefully, to my neck as if someone guided my hand with theirs. And I drew it across my throat. Welp. That was a death. Okay. We got the clover ending! Nice. Okay, that totally counts for something then. I got the achievement secret agent woman. Alright, we at least got some information there. That's good. That's good shit. Uh, save it again. <laughs> F everybody, not just F hot boy, F absolutely everybody. Okay, let's go this route. Uh, let's betray this time and see what we get. Of course the Clover ending has everybody getting brutally murdered. I, right, Jave? It's so appropriate. It's so perfect. Oh, I love my little axe murderer. All right, let's not have this conversation again. All right, girl, we're gonna betray. Why do you hate Dio? Excuse me, Julie, have you not been here? Uh, let me, let me just present you with exhibit what number A, choose, Sigma? just what? in case you had any questions, okay? Here we have Dio, who is dick butt Dio. This is also Dio. He's a trash can. Um, prince of this when I make partner, just so everybody knows. I'll announce that again. <laughs> I like how his eye makes her look like she's wearing a monocle right now. It's great. It's real good. I've missed a lot. Well, Julie, I can tell you that Dio is literally the nastiest character. He has lied and cheated every single time uh, and tried to fuck us over at every turn. It's it's really just great. No. All right. Alone a moment. Let's That's go. This is not evidence as to why. Oh yes, I think it, it very clearly outlined everything Dio has done. I think, I think you'll see that I'm Results, correct. <laughs> please. Okay, let's see what happens this time if we betray Quark and therefore Ten Miyoji. Okay, they betray each other still, so they're at zero. They both ally. 
He allies we betray. We look like an asshole. Okay. Well, he's not dead and we have nine, so... Dio, Dio Dickbot is all the evidence one needs. Yes. Correct. It kind of looks like the scouter from the famous Dragon Ball scene. Wait, I... I'm not a Dragon Ball person. I'll have to ask Boggs what you mean. Points have, please. All right, check our bracelets. What did you do, Clover? He is a good character to hate, but I also feel like because he is a good character to hate, he's like a strange scapegoat. Is that the right word? Like he's a distraction. We want to just blame everything on Dio, but somebody else here is nefarious. Sorry, it wasn't me. Sigma, huh? Yeah. Care to explain this then? <laughs> what is there to explain? It's exactly what it looks like. I'm getting out of here. What? Are you going with him, Clover? I... I... When they all turned to look at Clover, I made my move. Oh, Jesus. My feet pounded across the metal floor of the warehouse and I ran for the number wait, nine door. Wait. Ha, get fucked, Dio. We're out this time. Uh, he'd have to... Do better than a shout if he wanted to stop me. I was closer. I was almost there. I took one last running leap and slammed to the wall, unlocking the device right in front of me. With a yell of triumph, I threw the lever down. God, this is intense. I found one of my professors was a circus ringmaster on Tuesday? Really? What? He had long blonde hair as well, so my historical and contemporary illustrator professor is con confirmed Dio. 100% Dio. Kill him. Before his clones take over. Uh, the door began to open. A, heavily me a heavy metallic grinding noise, gr grinding noise filled the room. That son of a bitch actually did it? Yes. I did it! His voice sounded almost surprised. I turned to face him. Sorry, but this looks like it's goodbye. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll go tell the police as soon as I get out of here and come back with help. I'm not going to just leave you all here Don't to give die. Me that shit. I know a liar when I see one. Really? Maybe you should get your eyes checked. Oh, burn! What does he do the rest of the week? He clones himself, obviously. He's looking into the sciences. <laughs> Are you guys just going to let him run off like this? No way. I can't allow that. He took advantage of a sick kid. He's just a coward. Agreed. I also agree. That's it then. Let's get him. Ready? Yeah. He's toast. Just leave it to us. <laughs> Were you gonna murder me right now? What's happening? Uh, hello. Multiple people can la leave, yes, but they all have to have a nine on their bracelet in order to get through the door alive. If anybody goes through the number nine door who doesn't have a nine, uh, their bracelet will put them to sleep and poison them. So, he used to be a ringmaster. I found out about it on a Tuesday. Murder him. His clones, Julie, I'm telling you. God, can you imagine how great it would be to have clones though? Like if you were say a art teacher and you had clones, you, you, everybody could cycle out, do one day of work a week It'd be great. Well, that would also be like seven mouths to feed though. So I doubt you could live off a stipend. You could like switch up jobs. You could like rotate jobs. Everybody could have a different job and you could always, <laughs> you could all rotate. It'd be great. If another one of him walks in someday and he claims it's his twin, don't trust him. That's true. If your teacher tries to pull, tries to pull the twin shit. Mm -mm. Has anyone seen The Prestige? I have, that's a very good movie. Yeah, I get you. Uh, the door only opens once, you know. If you stop me, then. Give it up. Charge! Oh. I spun back around to face the door. Uh, there it was, right in front of me. Freedom! I leapt for it. Or at least, I tried. They got me. They got me! It happened in the blink of an eye. Suddenly, my cheek was pressed against the cold steel floor of the warehouse. Oh my god, just sell six of your clones on Craigslist? What is what you selling them to slavery? Who the sells people? That's not a thing. Will remain open for nine seconds. 
He made a joke about twins on a Tuesday? Dude. I'm going full conspiracy mode right now, Julie. He's Dio. Uh, let me go. Let me go. God damn it. I could feel something huge and heavy uh, and metal pressed against my back. Kay was holding me down. I, f I flailed and kicked, but it didn't do any good. What are you doing? You're just killing yourselves. The door only opens once. I if I don't... Go, Clover. Huh? You're the only one of us with 9 BP. Nobody else can get out. But... This is an order from your commanding officer. You are to escape from this facility. Once you've accomplished that, call for help. That's... Stop complaining and go. Damn. The door closes. It's all over. None of us will get out of here alive. She got real bossy. Dick butt confirmed. Everything fits. Wait, that sounds wrong. <laughs> you said it, Spell. Maybe it was all just a test to see who has played this game in his class. Please draw him, draw Dio, like for some ho for some homework assignment. Slip a Dio in there, and if he comes to you and he's like, "We need to talk," then you've entered into the plot line. You're gonna get mystical powers, <laughs> right? He's gonna be like your mentor. The shit's gonna go down. Prestige is kind of an advanced version of the Theseus's ship paradox. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Lee. Go, girl, go. The door had already begun to close. Uh, the space was narrowing quickly, but was still wide enough for a single person to make it through. Fine. You didn't leave me much choice. She just pushed her through. Rip Clover. I, I couldn't see what had happened, but I heard enough to guess. Alice had shoved Clover through the door. Slip a dick butt in there. Do not give your teacher a dick butt. I don't think they want that. I do not think your teacher would approve of a dick butt. You love conspiracy, Miro? Best Miro? My conspiracy is just like, they kind of make sense and then they just don't. And it just tanks into the ground. Looking up, I see Clover's feet just beyond the doorway. By the way, I just want you guys to know. I just want you guys to know. I'm a, no, second story time today. Um, when I woke up this morning, here's what I told Boggs. I was like sitting up in bed, half ass asleep. And I go, why, why did you go back together? You were dots. You were like, I said, why, why did you get, why did you become combined? You were dots. And he goes, what? <laughs> Somehow my dream was like something to do with Boggs being dots. And then he like, he came together, but he was supposed to stay dots. He was supposed to stay separate. Anyway, that's about how my conspiracy theories work. It's a little bit like dream me. And I'm like, I just babble ridiculous shit. That's my conspiracies. Oh, did I? Maybe he was Spot. Maybe he was Spot. Maybe he was like the ball Spot. You know, when Spot breaks into like little balls and then maybe that's what it was. Mm-hmm. I'm going with that. New conspiracy. Great dick butt movement. Dio dick butt is uh, the next great art movement. <laughs> oh, I see. Go. Like uh, Renaissance paintings, except Dio Call dick butt. For help. I'm counting on you. Alice! No! I can't! Rip, Clover. She's gone forever. Some of the greatest thoughts come out of a mind when one just wakes up. 100%. 100% some weird shit has come out of my has come out of my brain the half asleep. Nine, like four, like Julie's 4 a.m. scribble drawing about some amazing art piece. Julie, did you ever do anything about that? I remember you saying you like woke up and scribbled it really quick and then like went back to sleep. And I remember Odd reminding you that it existed. <laughs> I have to be willing to say what no one else will. It's true. This ends. The nonary game. Thank you. I guess we don't get to go through the white doors after all. As the game is over, all doors other than the number nine door. You haven't have done it yet? Unlocked. Please turn your, your 4 a.m. scribble into something magnificent. Escape is not possible. Please enjoy your stay. <laughs> the tr the Twitter scribble. Yeah. The great artwork of the Twitter scribble. Okay, so that was an ending. Yes, overwrite that shit. All right, let's see. Let's make a game plan for next time. I think we'll probably stop here. This is a good stopping point. Or we could, like... How did we not flesh that out? What happened there? 
That's most certainly a dead end. Um, that, that was sure an ending. It was. It was indeed an ending. Okay, we could start with this tree and try to, like, get some of that. We could try to get some of that. Um, we need to... Oopsie. Oh, damn it. Now we have to do the thing again. <sighs> I fucked up, y'all. All right, well... We get to watch this now. You want to you want to go from the top and work down, do the next long path. I feel like that's the best way to get answers because you get different tidbits of information along the way. So we can start over here. Um, that was betray. So we'll go here and we'll ally and we'll get started on that track. Now the next question is tomorrow we don't have time to talk about this. Tomorrow Jeez. for the stream, would you guys like to do more Virtue's Last Reward or would you like to um switch it up and try like a mini one shoot game? We could do some Gris. Um Julia said she was able to finish that in about 4 hours. So we could do Gris or we could like, I don't know what else do I have? I could find something. Um, okay, we'll go ahead and save here. Let me look at what else I have. Play what you want to play. I want to play all the things though. That's not a good, that's not a good way to determine what we're going to do because I would play all the things. Um, I just got some games at the latest sale. What did I get? I got Gris. I got, oh, I've already sorted them into things. Wait, no, I can look at it. Um, oh, I got Iris Fall. Um, I got, oh, that one's probably too long. I got the Spiral Scouts. That one's probably too long. Never Alone. I don't actually know how long that one is. Um, I got Classic Kingdom. I wanted to try out Kingdom because I've never played before. And the Classic one was like 99 cents. And I was like, yeah, sure. Uh, Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. But that one's probably also too long. And that, But that is a perfect slew Saturday. Hmm... Maybe I'll throw up a Twitter poll. Maybe I'll throw up a Twitter poll. Play Pyre again. Yeah. <laughs> um, I could play Hades. We could try some Hades. I do have access to it. We could do that. Um, I'll throw up a Twitter poll. I'll see. You guys can do like some anonymous, anonymous decision making for me. It's the best. Um, for now. Let's see, is Squid streaming? He is. How different your routes are, they have to diverge. Shut up. I hate that the Twitch main page automatically starts unmuted. I just want to say, I don't like that. Oh, not a poll. Say she taught us the trusses are better. But what about the studs? What about the studs? You got to hold out for a release with me. Oh, it's so hard, Julie. When was that when was that new reveal gonna happen again? I don't remember. Uh that's not Discord, that's Steam. When did I I posted the thing. When did it say it was? Farts. Click on it. January 15th. So that's Tuesday. Next Tuesday, we'll get a little bit more information. The trusses don't replace a pole. I took like a weird, like Lego engineering class in high school. My high school had a lot of bizarre classes, but I took this class where we basically played with like those connects building block things to build a bunch of different stuff. You would not believe how hard it is to actually build a bridge that will not collapse. It's actually very challenging. <laughs> Um, but I did it. Wait, is Squid streaming? He just started. Okay, he's got 30 seconds. Ready, set, go, you guys. All right, I'm sending you to Squid. He's, I don't know what he's doing. He's chatting. Um, I'm sending you to Squid. Let's do thank yous real quick, though. Thank you guys so much for being here with me for more VLR. Look out for the Twitter poll so you can help me make a decision about my life because I suck at decisions. Um, 
And then, uh, wait for it. There it is. Thank you so much to Ivory for the host. Thank you to Violet Dodger for the resub. Happy 11 months. Uh, thank you, Spell, for the host. And that is it for today. I'm sending you off to see Squid. Uh, I don't know what he's up to, but we're going to interrupt his intro. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful night. A dick butt raid. Oh, man, I wish I had a dick butt emote. You don't even know. I wish. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful night. If you're headed off, uh, get some good rest. And I will see you all tomorrow at 11 a.m. MST for whatever game Twitter chooses. So if you have a Twitter, choose my fate. I love you guys so much. Have a good night. Bye.